Hello everyone, my name is Scott C. Warren of UFOSightingsDaily.com and I found these structures on Mars using Google, Google Mars Map. Now, Google Mars Map is a pretty great map, but this one's not the downloadable version. This is the internet version. You just go on the internet, look at the URL, you'll find it. Uh, this is infrared. Uh, so when you go to it, you want to hit this little button up here that's infrared. What we're looking at right now is a screenshot because it's much smaller than this. Uh, what we see here, this is the crater that is absolute proof that there is no pixelization. There is no artifact through the photographic process. Now look very carefully along the edges. Look at this, these buildings right here all along the edges. They are casting uh, shadows all the way down. Look, this square is right here, okay? So this is getting cast all the way down to there. This corner, cast way down to there. Okay, this part, cast over to here. These shadows indicate that these structures are there. Absolute, 100% proof that it's not pixelization. These are structures on Mars. Now, let's close this. This is just a screenshot of this one right here. Uh, this is the actual map itself. Uh, let me zoom out real fast. Don't want to lose it though. It's right here. Keep your eye on that one. Okay, when I enlarge it, see this is about as enlarged as I can get, it will go white screen because Google doesn't really want you looking at that even though it's available. Uh, they want you not to uh, be able to look at it too long. So take a screenshot when you make it large and that way you can still see it and also show others what you found. Uh, here's another screenshot of another structure. Uh, you see these walls all along the edges of the crater. Pretty unique right there. Uh, walls lo looks a lot like the Great Wall of China from Google Earth. If you look at Google Earth at the Great Wall of China, this is exactly what it looks like along the edge. Okay, screenshot number three. Okay, this is screenshot number three. And over here, you see all these structures all the way down. You might want to look at this uh, video in HD and in full screen mode so you can see it better. The details will stand out much better. Okay, you see these structures all along here and all along down to here. Now these are screenshots, like I said, so if you really want to find this, just go to the link that I give you. It will go there, but as always, I said hit infrared when you do. The URL you need to check out is right here. Uh, just pause the video right there and go check it out or hit and hit infrared. So look at these structures, amazing structures. Uh, now let's make this smaller, okay, as you see that's too small. Okay, let's go to the next screenshot. Sorry. All right. Uh, here we have another one. And just like the other craters, there are buildings hidden along certain areas. Let's see if we can make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, we see structures. These are structures that match the coloration of the surroundings. They try to mimic nature and their colors at least, if nothing else, or maybe the building just naturally does that. Um, it's hard to say with their technology, but as we see, their technology mimics ours in the way they use a lot of right angles in their buildings. Uh, this is just one species of 56 species that Bob Lazar says exists, as he learned when he worked in Area S4 of Area 51. Pretty amazing structures, aren't they, though? Here's another one over here, that little one right here. Okay, you see a little bit along the edge, but it's really too blurry to even bother pointing out. A little bit here, uh, some down here, but too dark, can't really see it, it's not worth your time. Okay, this is another screenshot. And there's quite a few structures. You got some here, over here, a little bit here, here, over here. Okay, I haven't seen this one before, but this one is very similar to another one I found somewhere else in another screenshot. 
This is interesting. Okay, this this is very unique. Oh, very interesting this one. Okay, I'm gonna save this one and show you a little bit later and compare let you compare and contrast the other one. Uh, here we are, another screenshot. And this screenshot, as you see, here's a Google adjusting over here. Uh, this screenshot is pretty small, so let's make it a little bit bigger. You see these structures all along it. These structures are built in the crevices so that they can hide. Hide from the heat, perhaps, because everyone's saying, oh, it's so hot on Mars, it's so hot on Mars. How would you know? Have you been to Mars? Do you really trust everything that NASA says to us about Mars? Okay, look at this structure right here. Okay, it looks just like what I showed you a few minutes ago. This one. This one and that one. They're identical. Okay, this is totally coincidence. I, I ran into that just now while I was making the video, which uh, is quite unique. The only difference is this one has little uh, uh, arms here and here, like a castle has on the top. It goes up and down, up and down. Uh, pretty cool anomaly, though. Pretty cool. Uh, this structure, I'm not sure if this long one is an artifact or not, so let's just dismiss that since there is a white line along this area too. So dismiss those two white lines. Okay. Quite a few artifacts or structures there. Okay, let's go down to this one. Okay, this is the top area of a mountain. Try to make that a little bit larger. And you see pretty good detail all around here, a little bit blurred out by NASA. I wonder why. <laughs> uh, but apparently they're blurring out these buildings, these structures right here. Uh, there's more than we thought on Mars. There's much more. But I love this. This is absolutely amazing. I had to make this video before I left work today, so... Okay, this is this one right here. Uh, the one with the structure that matched it. I actually took that from the last screenshot that I wanted to show you. So, pretty, pretty cool. You see structures here, structures down here, uh, structures all around. And there's pretty good detail. Look at the detail everywhere. It's really pretty darn good. Uh, so you know these structures are really there. Hmm. All right then, uh, let me show you the original map that it came from. It came from over here, and as I said earlier, the URL is right here, so if you're interested in finding it, just put in that uh, URL and you will find it right away. I'll also put it in the About section and on my website so you can find it. Uh, my name's Scott C. Waring of UFO Sightings Daily. If you happen to be interested in these kind of things, these kind of anomalies, uh, please subscribe and like this video. It really helps us out. And also, I will try to make more. The more people that like it, the more I know I have to make more and find more of these anomalies on Mars and the Moon. All right, thank you very much. See you at UFO Sightings Daily.